Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to look at something that a lot of you guys have been asking for, is how can I charge my units on the go? So yeah, I've got an example of the Mavic 3 and the Mini 3. Let's get started. Okay, so here I've got my power bank. This is a Remax, a very cheap, decent power supply that you can get. But the important thing is, is you are looking for the PD option. So this is a Quick Charge 3.0 plus PD 65 watt power supply or power bank. But PD stands for power delivery. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see over here, but PD effectively means that you have a 20 volt or at 3.25 um, output so giving you a 65 watt total output the Mavic 3 needs that the Mini 3 can use 45 up and even you have your Avata so in this case let me just show you quickly what happens so I'm going to grab my power bank I'm going to grab my little USB to USB-C cable stick it into the back of the power bank and into my Mavic 3 now when you stick it in the power bank should power on and we are going to wait for it to do its quick little calibration. And it is going to detect if the device that you are connected to is a PD certified device. Effectively, does it support quick charge or power delivery? Over here, you guys can see that currently nothing is happening. But sometimes on these devices, you just need to unplug it and then replug it in after you have plugged it into your device. Now, we're going to see that the battery is going to start lighting up, but important, on the power bank, you're going to see that the PD light has now started to show. And as we can see, it is now fast charging the Mavic 3 battery inside the drone. This is very important to know, because if it doesn't go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, nice and quick, it is not fast charging. But we know it's doing a power delivery because the PD in the power bank has lightened up. But if you didn't have one with an LCD display, you can easily just take a look at the lights on the back of your drone, if it's charging fast or not. If it was doing a slow charge, then it would look like this. Let me just plug it into the other port. And you're going to see that it is going to probably light up pretty soon and it's going to go nice and slow from one point to the other point. And you can see that it is a slow charge. So we want obviously to have a nice fast charge, even though the power supply shows PD, it's not going to do a fast charge over here, purely because the port that we are using does not support power delivery. Now, if I just go back to the other port again, it's going to quickly detect what it is, do a quick scan on the actual battery itself. And you can see it is now doing a nice fast charge again. But you guys might ask, hey, what if I've got a different drone? Okay, so let me just quickly get my Mini 3 ready. And I'll stick the battery straight into the back. And we'll see what happens over there. And you can see that it's automatically jumped into fast charging mode as well. But we don't always want to charge our batteries in the drone. So the other option we have is we can take our Mavic stick our little power bank right into our uh, power bank or our charging hub and as you can see the pd light just light up on the power bank and it's now starting to charge the battery nice and fast so you can use this in the hub however i have seen if you put more than one battery in the charging hub then it is not the case let me show you so let me just plug this out And I'm going to use my Avata as an example. So this is my Avata 2. I'm going to plug in my cable. And you're going to see that it is going to initiate the power delivery on the unit. The light has just gone on. The power is now going through to the, uh, to the battery charging hub. But it is not really doing a good job. As you can see, it's starting to charge, but it's not doing a fast charging method. And I think the reason is, is that the hub might be overloading the circuit or whatever we are going for. If I go and I just plug a battery out, the charging hub is going to refresh and it is going to continue charging with a single battery in the unit. So let's just give it a second to catch up. The power delivery icon just went on on the power charging hub on the power bank and you can see now it's charging fast on this one 
But if I add a second battery, the system's going to reset, detect, and you're going to see it's going to carry on charging. But in many cases, it is going to stop charging that battery and then just default back to slow charging or not charge at all. So I do recommend only charging one battery at a time. In this scenario over here, it is now working properly, but it could be that your power bank has an issue with power delivery. If I plug this out and I grab my Mini 3 over here, I'll just grab the battery, stick it into the side. We're going to wait for the battery to detect. We're going to see the little PD light go onto our power bank, and we can see that it's now doing fast charging as well. So if you want to do a camping trip or something like that, get yourself a nice big power bank like this one. This is a nice 45, 40,000 milliamp hour battery, but you are looking specifically for the power delivery option on your charge. Quick charge three is nice for your cell phone and stuff like that. But for our purpose, for charging our items 45 watt to 65 watt, we are going to require the PD certification. So if you guys like what I'm doing here, please consider to click the like button. Check the comments below if there's any questions you guys might have. I would gladly appreciate any support that you guys give the channel as well. See you guys in the next one.